Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another build order tutorial. That's right. We are back to doing some for YouTube content. I've been meaning to do this for a little while and I'm thinking of doing at least like one or, one or two of these videos a week where uh, I just privately stream to myself and record some tutorials or, or uh, analyze some replays or something like that. And today we got a pretty good game for you guys. I got a game versus trigger that I played today on the ladder. Um, if you guys don't know as well, we do stream six days a week. Link in the description below. And uh, very, very fun game. I think this is a great example of how to execute a three racks. Just a very standard three racks Raven attack. I don't even go for a Widow Mind drop this game. I don't do anything crazy. I just kind of try to kill the Protoss. And we're going to see how that works. Uh, to start with the build order, we did go Barracks, uh, Refinery, Refinery. So going two gas after the barracks. That way we can get our factory up a little bit faster than normal. And then of course we're also going to wall off. Uh, in the in the TVP matchup at the moment, it's pretty common to just wall off wall off the ramp early, and then just build the command center like right here. Uh, the the way the adept has worked, like the adept will kind of just get across the map and it'll deny your base before you even have a chance to really deal with it. Um, so it's just better to build the command center up here, which is what we're going to do this game. Um, we're also going to go Reaper, and then we're going to get our Orbital, as well as, uh, oops, zooming in by accident, as well as uh, saturating both of these refineries to max. And then, yeah, once the Reaper's done, we're going to build a reactor, and we're going to try to scout what the Protoss is doing. Um, I've mentioned this before, but ideally, uh, that when the Reaper gets across the map, the Nexus should be about 70% complete. Uh, and that would mean that there's only one gateway here. Uh, if it wasn't 70% complete and it was like 50% complete, then there could potentially be a proxy gate on the map somewhere. So that's what I'm looking for with the uh, Reaper Scout here. Uh, and then back at home, we're just throwing down our factory. And then immediately, I'm going to pause here. Immediately after I built the factory, I also took two guys off of gas. And this is because we want to build a faster command center. And we only needed the fast gas so that we could build the fast factory. So after the factory is built, you can just take two guys off gas. And that'll give you a slightly faster command center. Uh, so the probe stays on our side of the map, which is fine, by the way. We don't care about a probe that is just scouting. Uh, he knows that I'm going reactor, which is fine. He doesn't see the command center quite yet. Uh, on the Protoss side of the map, we do see the Nexus. Um, my Reaper is is not going to jump in the main yet. I'm going to wait a little bit. You never want to go in right away because if you go in right now, there's not going to be any tech structures yet. So you want to wait a little bit. So the Reaper's going to run out of here. Uh, back at home, we're going to get a tech lab on the factory. So we're not actually going Widow Mine or Reactor. We're actually just going to go straight into Cyclone here. Um, the Reaper is just running away here, looking around. It's regenerating its health because it took some damage to the Adept. And then uh, I didn't really mention the Command Center timing, but I mean, you just build it when you get 400 minerals. You could always rewind and check exactly when I built it, but it should just come pretty naturally when you have the money. So now my Reaper is going to maybe, I think it's going to go back in and, and see what's going on. Um, I don't know where the Adept went. Oh, it's over here in the middle of the map looking for the Reaper. Okay, so my Reaper sees a Stalker, which is some pretty good scouting information. Um, I do think I was confident this game that Trigger wasn't going to go Stargate, because I do play Trigger quite a lot, and he usually goes Twilight builds. And then seeing the Stalker at the bottom of the ramp, like, like this was a pretty big tell. Usually if somebody goes Stargate in the current meta, they usually go two or three Adepts. So seeing a Stalker is a little bit of scouting information. Uh, ideally, if you really were nervous, though, I would always sack the Reaper just to check the tech. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that as long as you get the tech scout. Um, the reason that I keep the, I keep the Reaper alive, though, is I just like to have the extra bit of map control. It's nice to have a unit to help the Cyclone and also keep an eye on when the third base is coming down. Um, back at home, um, just to catch up on the build order, after the Cyclone got built, we built a tank. And then when we had the money for a starport, we also built our starport. And then uh, coming out of the starport is going to be a tech lab and a raven. And then we're just going to be poking with our cyclone at the moment. The important timing here is that a twilight opening 
wouldn't have blink until around four minutes, 40 seconds. So you can actually be aggressive with your cyclone. Like you can be on the map, you just gotta be careful. Like check for the third, like sometimes Protosses will go for an early third base. It's always good to be active like that. Um, so I did poke, I lost the Reaper for free. I wasn't expecting all three units down here, but uh, I was still able to poke. I got a probe kill surprisingly, so not the worst thing ever. And then yeah, I confirmed his build. We saw three stalkers, which is a lot of good information for us. And then back home, uh, we built the barracks a little bit before the Raven started. So eh, I guess we can rewind. Yeah, so like right around here, we built the barracks and the timing is so that the barracks finishes when the Raven finishes so that you can swap the two buildings quickly. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go one Raven and then we're gonna go three tanks total. And I'll explain the reason for three tanks uh, when they all come out, but there's a good reason for the number three in this situation. Versus Twilights, you just have to go a lot of tanks. Like Blink Stalker builds are just quite frankly too strong, uh, unless you have tanks to defend with. I don't really see that he has his third yet, but it's a pretty, I've, I've got a pretty strong feeling at this point that the third is on the way. Uh, four minutes and 30 seconds is typically when the Protoss will take a third anyways. So just by default, I assume the third is coming down at that time, no matter what. Um, so building our second barracks here, uh, when the third tank is started, so we have one tank in the nat, one tank in the main, and then when you start the third tank, that's when you start the barracks. Because again, we're going to swap these buildings, and you want to do it as quickly and efficiently as possible. And then, yeah, we swap these, we start Stimpak. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything else. Just a... Engineering Bay should come down in a moment here while I drink water. My throat gets dry when I talk a lot. <laughs> so yeah, it should be eBay and a refinery. I don't know where the eBay is. I think I'm just eating my own words right now. It was definitely late this game. Oh no! Streamer! Alright, we're just going to ignore that. You know what? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you forget supply depots. Um, something else I want to note this game is I skipped the bunker. And the reason I skipped the bunker is actually because I opened Cyclone. If you were just going to go like Widowmine drop into tank, I would always get the bunker in that situation. But in this game, I actually have the tanks a little faster than normal. And I have two of them in the Nat and one of them in the main with the Raven in the main. I feel very safe right now. And honestly, if it was a Stalker aggressive build, like we would have seen more aggression by now. Like I would have seen the Stalkers try to blink in at least once already. So I feel safe to not go bunker. We also have the ramp in the natural, which is also great for us. And then I just killed an observer. So I'm feeling very safe in this particular game. Although in general, I would always build the bunker there. Um, so the reason I build three tanks, by the way, and this is important. This is what I was going to mention before, and I'll pause for this. Um, you want to have an even separation of tanks. So you should have one tank in the main base that protects all of your production, kind of like this tank. And then you should have one tank in the natural, and this tank should protect the ramp, and it should protect the gas, and it should protect the mineral line. And then your third tank should sort of just be in between the other two tanks, because you want the third tank to kind of protect the other two tanks in the case that the Blink Stalkers blink in on top of one of the tanks. So let's say like we had Blink Stalkers here, and they blinked in here, then this tank down here would shoot the Blink Stalkers, and if the Blink Stalker is blinked in here, then we'd also have two tanks in range of the Blink. So that's kind of the idea is always having two tanks in range of Blink Stalkers. It's going to do wonders for helping you defend. Ooh, a little bit of a weird graphical glitch here <laughs> because of the angle of that ramp. Um, so yeah, we're just macroing at home here. Uh, the eBay. Where is the eBay streamer? I think I actually build two of them at once this game because I forgot... I think. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that, but if you ever forget your eBay, uh, yeah, build two of them at once. That's going to be the only way to get out of this. This is kind of a mistake, but, you know, it, it, mistakes happen. <laughs> we would it's, it's, Just to give you guys the timing of the actual eBay, um, I'll go back a little bit just to point it out, because I want to make sure you guys have the, the proper build orders here. So basically, after the first barracks is done and before the third barracks starts, so like maybe five seconds ago, like right here. So like right now would be the perfect time for the eBay. And then you take your gas geyser after that. 
Um, yeah, a little mistake by me. Like some, sometimes I'm just focused on doing other things, but I'm sure it'll. Uh, I'm sure I'll build two more in a second here. Let's fast forward back to where we were. All right, so we got the medevacs coming out. And yeah, we're just building widow mines. We got the two reactors on the starport and the factory. I always like to wait until my third and fourth medevac comes out. Um, the reason for this is just zealots. It's better to wait because I think the widow mines do more if you have like four of them or six of them. And if you go with just two medevacs, you only have two widow mines. And I just don't have much success pushing in that case. So I always just wait until like seven minutes. This has become this has become my sort of like default timing attack, um, and it's also important to note that when I'm pushing out, I'm always rallying units to my supply depot, and I'm never leaving my base without like some units here, and this is probably like the most important rule in TVP, and you're gonna see why this game, but you always need to have a rally to your depot. You should never be rallying to your units like this. Um, the only time I will bring these units forward is when there's enough units to fill in the medevacs. And then I'll fly the medevacs towards the army, and I'll join everybody together quickly. But, in the meantime, we're just going to leave them here. And coincidentally, this game, the Protoss does do the very good play of going for the Warp Prism drop. But we have our units ready for that. And uh, we're doing our attack still, no matter what. This is very important, too. Like, if you ever get Warp Prism dropped during this attack... Do not stop your attack for any reason. Like, you need to go. Because every second you wait is another second towards another warp in cycle. And all the Protoss needs is one extra warp in cycle to be able to, like, easily stomp you. So, yeah, we're just defending with our units here. I pulled my SCVs, but they kind of got splashed by Widow Mines. Uh, but I just, I'm barely going to have enough here to defend that. And then, yeah, we're getting in our position here. We got our Widow Mines uh, as forward as we can. The tanks are in a pretty good spot, kind of wrapped around the corner. Um, I did go for the Seeker. I'll rewind here to show you that again. The Protoss has a High Templar in the army, and I noticed that quite quickly. And the second I noticed the High Templar, I just immediately Seeker missiled. Like, you should never wait if you see a High Templar. Just dive bomb, suicide bomb, Seeker missile every time just like that because like you're gonna get feedback so quickly <laughs> you're not gonna have time to drop turrets you're not gonna have time to disable units seeker is the only thing you can do there arguably the the raven would have done a lot more back at home in this situation but i still think the raven should come with the army like the seeker is a big deal it helps uh lower the strength of that army quite a bit so yeah back home we're taking care of that and then these units were just stimming down like you know, classic Terran Micro, stutter-stepping the Zealots. Trying to snipe the Immortals if I can. I'm having trouble killing this. Uh, he does escape for now. But he's still trying to kill me. Like, we're, we still have our tanks in position. We had Widow Mines still. And yeah, he just threw away two Immortals there. Which makes this fight even better. Cleaning up the Zealots quite well. Yeah, I think the build just went really well this game. Like, just... Only making like one or two small mistakes with the upgrades. And look, I did get the two Ebays, which I'm not even researching upgrades on. But only one or two small mistakes, but it just goes to show like how strong this build could be. Because like, let's be honest, the Protoss also made some mistakes this game too. Um, this map is a small map too. If you're ever playing on Babylon LE, this is a great map to do three racks play. Um, the third base is just like kind of hard to defend to be honest like these rocks i probably could have put the tanks here and then just like come around this angle or something i feel like there's different ways that i could have abused that but uh the rest of this game i mean it's pretty well closed out um the way i close it out here is i just put all the widow mines in between the third and the natural and then i just stim into the main um this is pretty much a checkmate situation like we have six widow mines here and he has this amount of units like, they have to go through the Widow Mines to get to the bio now. So if you're ever in this situation, it's, an, it's a pretty easy checkmate. Um, and then back at home, I still had a rally of units. I never stopped rallying units to my depot. Like I said, that's very important. And then, yeah, we finally just clean up the War Prism. I get to kill the Natural for free. Because, yeah, he had, to, he had to take forever to uh, clean the Widow Mines up. 
Just nothing he could do. Disable on the Archon, because why not? Style at this point. And then, yeah, this game's pretty much cleaned up. I think, uh... I think we just do one more attack here, and yeah, it's over. Protoss just takes a minute to leave, but... I thought it was a very good, a very good clean example game. Like the only thing I was really sad about is the eBay. But just to show you the strength of the build, like we won without the plus one upgrade. <laughs> Pretty good build, if you ask me. Definitely a standard way to play. Like uh, if you're looking to to bring your your gameplay up a level, like would definitely recommend this build. It works well in the current meta, especially with the Raven costing a little bit less. You can get your build a little bit faster. So yeah. If you have any questions, of course, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer. And uh, stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching. Peace.